a while back I made a ventilation fan for our compost toilet. There's now some plumbing and an old computer fan that I had. After hooking it up, I had to say it wasn't really strong as I wanted it to be because I had to push the air almost nine feet in order for it to exit from where the compost toilet sits to outside. So today I'm going to make another one and show you what I'm going to do to fix this problem. I'm going to start with a piece of ABS black inch and a half pipe. I think it's a four foot section I bought. You're going to need a couple couplers what I'm going to end up using. Same size inch and a half. Make sure we get that focus so you can see it. One for each end. Then I picked up a couple 40 millimeter fans. They got the USB terminals on the end of them. I'm going to end up using two of them. This way here I know for sure it's going to push enough air. You may not actually need two of them, but I'll see if I can't get this thing focused so you can see what they actually are. Then I picked up this little charger. It's a little 12 to 24 volt DC 2.4 amps charger. It's got a couple terminal outlets on it right here, the USB terminal outlets. This way we can plug up both of the fans at the same time without having to do any wiring. Also has an off and on switch right here. Then this would be your input from your battery cable right here. And the last piece I picked up was this cigarette lighter cable because I have a cigarette 12 volt lighter uh, outlet right there by the bathroom. This will actually connect directly to this right there. So we end up, don't end up having to do any wiring. That was the whole concept of this. To make it easier so we got all this stuff here gathered up so let's start putting it together okay first of all I'm gonna cut me a two-foot section of this pipe off and like I said the reason I'm cutting a two-foot section is because that's how much I need for the distance that I want to put the fans apart if you're only using one fan then you may not have to worry about it you can make it really short so let's go cut that off Okay, I cut me a two-foot piece of this pipe off. What I'm going to do is actually take some sandpaper here and just kind of sand the edges so that way there, if there's any rough pieces that we've cut off of here, we don't want them to ever fall down inside the fan. So we're going to sand that. Just right around the little hole here like this. Around the outside of it. And you can see how this knocks off real easy. We'll do the next one. There we go. Now, get the dust off of it. This makes this fitting fit really nice and slick. So there we, that way there we got a nice tight fit. Okay, the next step would be to take these little fans and we're gonna narrow off the corners here. I've got a little die grinder I'm gonna use. You could use a file, some heavy sandpaper or something, but we're gonna cut a little bit of these off of each one of these so it'll actually fit right inside of this little cylinder adapter. Once we get it to where it fits in there nice and snug, then I'll show you what we're going to do next. I wanted to show you how much I actually sanded off of this little fan. You can see I cut the corners of it off right here. So it's pretty much about half of the hole or so. That actually made it fit really nice and snug right inside the piece of fitting pipe. Let's see if I can get a light on that just right so you can see it. That's what we need to do. I'll go ahead and do the other one. Okay now that we got the uh, fans all the corners cut off of them right there you gotta be very careful when you come to this wire to make sure that you pull this wire back while you're filing or grinding so you don't hit the wire. You put it right back in place when you're done. Now these fans blow the direction as a sticker so the fan, the air will flow this direction. So don't get them confused because you don't want them facing against each other. You want them both facing the same direction. Okay the next step would be to take and make sure we cut a small groove inside of this so the wire can slide down into it. So as we press it in there it doesn't kink the wire and it won't be in the way 
for putting the other piece of plumbing on there. Okay, we got us a little groove cut down the side of it so the wire can slide in there. The way I did that was I just simply took a saw and just saw the groove right into it. Cleaned it up with a, uh, a little box knife cutter. Just so it get a little bit wider so I didn't want the wire to be squeezed too tight. What we'll do is we'll take this fan. We're going to face it outwards like this. Take our little wire, if we can see it here. Stick it in there and press that fan down in there until it hits the bottom. See, it won't go but only so far. That's it. Now you got your wire coming out the side. There we go. Let's do the other one. Real simple, easy to do. Now the fans can't go nowhere. We've got the wire coming out the side so we can wire it up. And then what we'll do is we'll end up fitting this on the end of this pipe right here. Just like this. Now our fans in there, our wire sticking out. And we're going to use some electrical tape. Just make a one round trip around it and it will be right there. It'll allow us to run our wires and connect our little charger to it. Alright, let's do that. Okay, we're going to use some, some old, plain old electrical tape. This is what's going to hold it together. Let's bring it right up here and tape her up. Go around it a few times here. All right, now we're going to work our way down to the next level here. Let's make sure it holds it. And there we go. And we'll just cut that off right there. It gives us a nice perfect fit and seal and everything. You can see the fan doesn't have a sticker on it facing this direction. Because we want it to face inwards. And on this end, which I've already taped up, has the fan showing. So the air will be blowing this direction. Whichever way the sticker. If you can see the sticker, then you know it's this direction it blows. Okay, the next step would be to mount your charger. This little charger has a bracket on the back of it right here where you could put two screws in. You can either mount it directly on the pipe or over on the side of the wall over here. And you just slide it down on the uh, mounting bracket. So once you get that mounted, you can just plug your little USB cables at the bottom of this. Just like this right here. Let's see if we can get it turned around there. And then no matter where you mount this, whether it's on the tubing or on the side of the wall, you can read your voltage and you have your off and on switch. And then from here, you would just take your cable that's going to supply the battery, 12 volt to it, 24, whatever you have, and uh, run this to your battery. In my situation, I actually bought a cable for a cigarette lighter plug because in my bathroom I have a cigarette lighter plug up on a shelf not too far from where this tube runs. So I'll probably mount the switch here and tuck all the wires up behind it and maybe tie strap it or just see what I can do with it. We'll see how that works out. Okay, now that we got everything figured out, what I'm going to actually do in my situation is take another piece of this pipe, stick it right down in here, and run it up to the ceiling out the roof for a vent. And on the bottom half of it, I'll probably add another piece of extension of pipe, just like that black one there, and put an elbow on it so it turns into my toilet. Okay, guys, I went ahead and installed this. I didn't film it because it was just a little too hard for me to do. But basically what I did was I fastened it to the wall. And I wanted to show you what I did. I actually bought a couple of rubber boots and fastened it on here so I could take these clamps loose and pull this tube out that has our fans in it. It just goes on down. There's another rubber boot connecting it right there. So I put a piece of plumbing on down further. I don't know if you can see this because it's kind of shadowy. I'll get a light to show you, but it turns and goes into the compost toilet. But I wanted to show you what I did. I put a rubber boot here and one right up there to connect to the pipe that goes up. But see how I got the little charger mounted to the side over here? This so you can turn the 
fans on and off real easy. It keeps track of your battery. I just thought that would be a neat thing to put on there. And this way here, there's hardly any wiring to do when you use this system. You can't even hardly hear it run. But boy, I went outside after I got it done, and it's really pushing the air. That's what I was looking for. But I wanted to show this to you. I just simply use these electrical uh, tie downs, you know, for their electrical conduit, and screwed it to the wall there. And like I said, it goes down to the toilet down there. There's another connector right there. But both of them have boots on them. So if I take the clamps loose, I can pull it out and repair it if I have to, like put a new fan in it or something. And then it goes right through the shelf, right on up, turns. I had to bring it this direction to get away from the edge of the trailer for me to mount it because I have uh, solar racks up there. And then I elbowed it right up through there. I will go outside and show you what I did. I'll probably make it another video so this video isn't so long. Let me get the light and uh, put it behind the toilet and show you how it come out. Okay, I got a light so you can see how it just goes down the wall and it turns and goes right back into the back of the toilet right there. Just got an elbow on it. It's actually a rubber piece that I put on there so that way I can take it loose to remove the toilet. A rubber, a rubber boot, elbow boot. That kind of shows you right there. And I'll show you the rest of it here. So the tube, the pipe, just sticks right through the back of the toilet. I use some aluminum tape to hold it, seal it off there. That's all it does. I said about me putting a screen on there just so we don't pick up little particles, you know, from the uh, sawdust and stuff we use in our compost toilet. I was going to say, you probably noticed the space between the wall and the toilet. Well, I pulled it out even further because we didn't quite have enough room sitting in here. Put this little pink thing in there so that way nothing fell back there. But back here, this works out really good because we have this space back there. We end up putting our little small vacuum sweeper and some other things that we haul with this. I'll show you what, that, what we do with it. This is some of the stuff we shoved back there. What I got is our broom you know, for sweeping. I got a small vacuum sweeper that sits right down in there. And we always carry a pair of old crutches with us. I think it's a really good idea when you're out wandering around. You just never know what might happen to you. So we keep them in the trailer there. But that makes a nice little storage area. I thought I would just mention that since we was on the toilet part here where you could see what, how I built it. Well, I hope this helps somebody. I appreciate you guys watching my videos. Thank you.